Hi, welcome to this compromise video on population density. In this video, we're going to look at what population density is, how it's calculated, and then answer some typical questions on it. Now, if we were to compare two regions, such as London and the Highlands of Scotland, I would say London's quite a crowded place. Whereas the Highlands of Scotland, I would say, well, that's not a crowded place. Now, sort of rather than just saying one place is crowded and one place is not crowded, it's very useful to be able to work out, you know, how crowded somewhere is or not. So what we do is we work out a thing called population density. So if we were to consider London and we were to divide it into one kilometre squares, so one kilometre by one kilometre, and we were to divide London into just one kilometre squares, lots and lots and lots of them, and we were to share out all the people that lived in London into those kilometre squares equally, what we would find is that in each one of those kilometre squares, there'd be approximately 5,700 people in each one of those squares. So if you divided London into one kilometre squares and shared the people out equally between each of those kilometre squares, got them to stand on them, you'd find there'd be roughly 5,700 people in each one of those squares. Whereas if you do that in the Highlands of Scotland, so divide the Highlands of Scotland into one kilometre squares, and divide the people equally into each one of those kilometre squares, you'd find in the Highlands, there's eight people in each one of those kilometre squares. So London has a population density of 5,700 per kilometre squared, whereas the Highlands of Scotland has a population density of eight per kilometre squared. So as you can see, the population density of London is much, much, much bigger than the, po the population density of the Highlands of Scotland. Okay, so let's have a look at three countries. So we've got Canada, the Netherlands, and the United Kingdom. And each of these values here for population and area for each of these countries is approximate. So the, the, the obviously population changes, the area have maybe sort of rounded them slightly. So here we've got Canada. The population of Canada is 40 million, approximately. And the area of Canada is 10 million kilometers squared. So if we were to divide Canada into 10 million kilometer squares and we shared our 40 million people into those 10 million squares, you'd find in each one of those squares, there'd be four people. So the population density of Canada is four per kilometer squared. Whereas the Netherlands, the population is 18 million and the area is 41,860 kilometers squared. So if we were to divide the Netherlands into 41,860 kilometer squares and share 18 million people out equally between those, you'd find that the population density of the Netherlands is approximately 430 per kilometer squared. So the population density of the Netherlands is much greater than the population density of Canada. And finally, the United Kingdom has a population of 68 million, 21,250, and an area of 242,500 kilometers squared. Well, if we divide the United Kingdom into 242,500 squares, each measure one kilometer by one kilometer, and share the population out equally between each of those squares, you have a population density of 280.5 per kilometer square. Now, obviously, you can't have 0.5 of a person that's why you know you wouldn't do this actually by you know dividing it up into squares but you you would obviously use it as accurately as possible in your calculations so the population density in the United Kingdom would be 280.5 per kilometer squared now one thing to note here is obviously with Canada it's got a population density of four per kilometer squared that does not necessarily mean the whole country is you know not crowded at all you know, somewhere like Canada, this is going to be, you know, there's a lot of maybe uh, forest and frozen land towards the north, whereas in the south, there might be sort of larger cities, and those cities will have a lot much larger population density. So that's just something to consider there. Let's have a look and see how population density is calculated. So the formula for population density is population density equals population divided by area. And for each one of our countries, we divided the population by the area, and that gave us the population densities. So our first question says, the population of a county is 980,000 and the area of the county is 3,200 kilometers squared. Work out the population density of the county. So population density, population density is equal to the population, which is, which is 980,000 divided by the area, which is 3,200. And when we work that out, we get that that's equal to 306.25 per kilometer squared and that's it okay our next question our next question says the area of a county is 5,000 kilometers squared and the population density of the county is 315 people per kilometer squared and we've been asked to work out the population density of the county now, there's two ways to consider this the first way is that the county can be split into 5,000 
kilometer squares where we've got 5,000 one kilometer by one kilometer squares and in each one of those squares is 315 people. So if we do 5,000 multiplied by 315 we can work out the population of that county. So we could do 5,000 multiplied by 315 and that would tell us how many people live in the county altogether. 1,575,000 and that's it. So we can just consider there's 315 people in each one of those kilometer squares and there's 5,000 squares and just multiply those together. Alternatively, we could have made population the subject of the formula. So on the right hand side of the formula, we have population divided by area. So we don't want this divided by area on the right hand side. So to get rid of the divide by area, we're going to multiply both sides of the formula by area. So we can multiply by area and multiply by area. So when we multiply the left hand side of the formula by area, we would get population density multiplied by area. And on the right hand side of the formula, we had population divided by area, we multiply by area, so we were just left with population. So the population is equal to the population density multiplied by the area. And that's it. And now we've got population as a subject of the formula. To work out the population, we multiply the population density by the area, where the population density was 315, so you could do 315 multiplied by the area, which was 5,000. And again, that would have given us our population of 1,575,000. And that's it. Okay, our next question. Our next question says, the population of a county is 120,000. The population density of the county is 24 people per kilometer squared. Work out the area of the county. So again, we could make area the subject of this formula, so we could multiply both sides by area, like we did before, and then we would get population density multiplied by area equals population and then we want the area on its own so we could divide both sides by population density and then that would give you area equals population divided by population density and then you could just work it out that way so you could just do 120,000 for the population divided by the population density which is 24 and that would give us the area of the county and 120,000 divided by 24 is equal to 5,000. So the area of this county is 5,000 kilometers squared. Alternatively, what we could have done was considered, well, the population of the county is 120,000, and in each one of the squares, there's 24 people. Well, if we divide 120,000, the total population, by the 24 people in each squares, we could work out how many squares there were. And again, that would be 5,000. So the area of the county would be 5,000 kilometers squared. Okay, let's have a look at our last question. So our last question says, a country is made up of two regions. Region A is a population of 1,200,000 and a population density of 800 people per kilometre squared. And Region B has an area of 35,000 kilometres squared and a population density of 125 people per kilometre squared. And we've been asked to work out the population density of the entire country. So to work out the population density of the entire country, we're going to have to divide the population by the area. So for Region A, well, we know the population and the population density, so we're going to need to work out the area of Region A. And for Region B, we know the area and the population density. So for Region B, we're going to need to work out the population. So let's consider Region A to begin with. So Region A. So Region A, well, it's got a population of 1,200,000 and a population density of 800 people per kilometre squared. So we could rearrange our formula and we want to work out the area. So we can multiply both sides by area to get population density multiplied by area equals population. And then we could divide both sides by the population density to get the area is equal to the population divided by the population density. And we could use that formula to work out the, uh, the area of Region A. Alternatively, we could just say, well, if there's 1,200,000 people and each one of the squares is 800 people, if we divide 1,200,000 people by the 800 people, we'll find out how many squares there were. But either way, we're going to say the area is equal to 1,200,000 divided by 800. And that's equal to 1,500 kilometers squared. Okay, and region B, well region B has an area of 35,000 kilometers squared and a population density of 125 people per kilometer squared. So we've got region B 
And we need to work out, remember, for the whole country, we want to find the population density of the entire country, so we need to divide the population by the area. And we don't know the population at the minute of region B, so we need to work out the population of region B. So for region B, we could use the formula population is population density multiplied by area. So we want to multiply these two together, the population density by the area, to find the total population. Alternatively, you could consider, well, there's 35,000 squares if we divided them into one kilometer squares. And in each one of those squares, there's 125 people. So we multiply those two together, we'll get the total population. So the population is equal to the population density, 125, multiplied by the area, which is 35,000. And that's equal to 4,375,000. Okay, so we now know the area of region A and the population of region B. So we now can consider the entire country. So for the entire country, we wanted to work out the population density. So that's going to be the population divided by the area. So for the, for the whole country, we're going to work out the population density. Population density. And that's equal to the population. Well, for the whole country, well, the population of region A was 1,200,000. And the population of region B was 4,375,000. So we're going to add those two together. We're going to add together the 1,200,000 and our 4,375,000. And that will give us 5,575,000. So 5,575,000 is the total population of the country. And we now need to divide that by the total area. Well, we had the area of region B already, 35,000. And we've now got the area of region A. If we add those two together, well, our 35,000 plus our 1,500, we get that's equal to 36,500. So we're going to divide that by 36,500. And when we work that out, we get an answer of 152.74 to two decimal places. That's people per kilometer squared. And that's it. So to work out the population density, we do the population divided by the area.